Welcome back, everyone. The ancient greeting of shaking hands makes its return. Well, now that more people are heading back into offices and traveling for business, employees seem to feel more comfortable with greeting their coworkers with a friendly handshake. Now, obviously, there could be the awkward fist bump, the weird elbow tap. I'm not a fan of any of those. I, I'm a person who I'll kind of, if I've never met you before, I'll go in for the handshake. Otherwise, if we're familiar, I'm going in for the hug. But you kind of do that awkward dance of familiarity. Dave, are you back to shaking hands? I never stop. So we had a Yahoo Finance poll about this earlier this afternoon. And my answer was the third option, which is never stop doing handshakes. And quite frankly, I never stopped hugging. I have always been a bit of a hugger, <laughs> only when invited. But um, and the poll plays out this way. 59 percent are back to shaking hands. But you have to add in the 25 percent that never stops. So very few people are anti handshake at this point. Just 16 percent of the 650 who voted in this poll. Look, we are returning to office. And don't you dare bring that elbow that you mentioned earlier on, because that I am not having any of that at the bare minimum handshake. Although I hate to be the, the wet blanket on a Friday afternoon, the COVID numbers do make you feel a little bit wary about yep. going back to the hugs and the handshakes and things of that nature because the numbers are spiking, my friend. You know what I've never been a fan of? The high five. I never high fived a single person until I moved to this country. And 90% of the time I used to miss. I just couldn't do it. Someone taught me a trick. If you look at the person's elbow that you're high fiving, you're, you're less likely to miss. So a little tip there for us socially awkward people. but. I mean, we did see also in this chart, there's 16 percent of people say they're not shaking hands. So they want nothing to do with people. Maybe a polite wave, I guess, if you're not going to make any sort of physical contact. What's the alternative? I recommend this. If you're going to return to office, which we are starting to do, despite the spike, you got to be back to handshakes. Maybe not the hugs. I can understand you holding off on that, but you got to get back here. And then just bring back the, uh, the, the wash your hands, the, the stuff so you can, you know, shake your hands and then, and then go around the corner and wash them. But I still can't get over you missing a high five, my friend. Give it up. It's hot. It's, You're gonna the, me <laughs> the mechanics are complicated. <laughs> but I, well, you know what? You, well, I find that when I'm, if I'm meeting someone for the first time, you kind of have to gauge if you, if you go in for the handshake yeah. and they seem uncomfortable, you kind of segue it into some sort of wave or something. But everyone has a different comfort level. I respect that. Well, I'm going to give you a knuckles. Have a great weekend, everybody. That'll do it for us. For Rochelle Akufo, I'm Dave Briggs. We'll see you back here 3 o'clock Eastern time on Monday.